Good evening. It's going to be hard to match the banana song. So, um, I'm Josh. It's Rebecca, Ian, Arthur, and Brian and Neela Carroll. I went to UNC. Brian went to Villanova. So maybe you can figure out where this is going. Um, a few months ago, yeah, so a few months ago, Brian or Eric uh, texted Rebecca right before the NCAA championship game between UNC and Villanova um, and proposed a bet. And he said, how about the person who went to the school that loses the game sings the other team's fight song at Eagle Camp? Which we had done um, this a couple of years ago. Um, knowing to quit when I was ahead, because I won the last time, I said, no, I don't want to do that. Um, and so Rebecca promptly texted back, oh, sure, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so, being married for 11 years, I know when my wife gives my word, I have to keep it. <laughs> so, here we are. Many of you know how the, how the game went. Um, one of the best games in NCAA championship history ended on a sour note with Villanova winning. So here we are. However, Brian and, and Neela have been gracious enough to join us in singing this song because it's kind of actually a little bit unsingable. We will actually... <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna make YouTube history tonight if somebody out there is recording by being the first intelligible version um, of this song ever. So I'm gonna give you one out. Okay, I've heard that you have not chosen a baby name yet. Oh. So, you can sing a far superior song with far superior voices than in 2009 when I had to sing the North Carolina song. Or we can name the baby Chris Jenkins Arthur. <laughs> Archie Diacono Arthur? <laughs> It could. We gotta sing? All right. We'll let the, uh, we're gonna let the office pool singer, uh, the office pool singer, she's gonna conduct. And we have Eden on the drums as well. Okay, here we go.